Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Ms. Moore Yod. Fucking yes. So good. I can't wait for the live copy to get here. Fuck yes. Live at Roadburn, but this is the original release on Gilad Media. ALN is a genius, and this next release I've been meaning to go over since it arrived, and I have to thank MSW and Hell. Because without MSW being a generous human being, this fucking uh, total monstrosity would not be in my hands today. Hell Trilogy. But we're going to be going over this one release at a time. So, I know I reviewed Hell 3 on cassette. We're going to re-review that when the time comes. But for right now, the Hell Trilogy is probably, in my opinion, one of the most important heavy pieces of just blackened, doomed out sludge maybe ever recorded. I'm not really sure, but it's fucking something that if you're a fan of Sonic Access in its purest form, like, not the record, just in general, when it comes to sludge and doom metal, when you like bands that like wear their heart on their sleeves and you know, actually have like real subject matter to work with. And you know, hell is the pain of kingdom and sorrow. And this is a pure example of that sonically. And it's awesome how all three of these releases leading up to the self-titled have different feels to it as Hell 1 is just more or less a straight up sludgy doom album. The black metal isn't really prevalent where Hell 2 is like, holy shit, it, like, it's fucking sick. It's pretty much straight up in my opinion, like a doomed out slab of black metal where Hell 1 has some black metal elements, but they're, you know, microscopic in the fucking grand scheme of what Hell 1 is. And that is just some of the heaviest doomed out sludge ever. It's fucking great. And hold on real quick have to show some art as this has who played what on what release as this is a trilogy so hell is MSW but on one we have some guests we have ALN from Mismore which we're listening to right now, as well as TAS. And we have Brutus Infernus Tyranno Di Flagatio and uh, Mamma uh, Moore. I think I said that correctly. Sorry if I did not. But holy shit. Lower your head. Don't believe. Hell is the kingdom of pain and sorrow. I know I said that already, but this box set is great. Check out my unboxing of it. But here is Hell 1. The whole entire trilogy was released on a box set. It's fucking wonderful, and everything follows Dante's Inferno when it comes to the artwork and whatnot. 
my book is over there, so I will not be able to make any comparisons right now. I apologize. This is something I probably should have legit written down, but I want to talk about the music more than the symbolic nature of this beast. As MSW, TAL, and fucking ALN created something that's just one of a kind. Like, there's parts on here where the bass sounds like fucking ohm, but then just goes into some of the darkest, heaviest realms of sludge that you could possibly dive into. It's fucking absolutely amazing. I really wish there was a lyrical sheet to go along with this, but just wow. Everything about it, it's absolutely devastatingly heavy. The vocals are otherworldly and are just legit. You can feel the suffering and you can feel all the heart that's put into hell. And it's just, it's great. Everything about this release is everything you could want from a sludgy doom record like I, I don't really know how else to put this into words hell are, is one of those bands that you need to hear for yourself and this isn't the hell that dresses up like fucking clowns and shit this is the fucking real deal hell from Salem Oregon And I know this has been released multiple times on multiple uh, labels, formats, etc. This is absolutely amazing on vinyl. It sounds great on picture disc. I know people hate on picture discs. This sounds absolutely devastating. And I've had friends legit get seasick or vertigo technically while listening to hell as there's parts on here that legit fuck with your like head and it's great I, I, I think it's great because few bands manage to really you know they start fucking with you because there's parts on here where you don't really know what's going on like, it just sounds like noise, but there's all this, like, stuff layered underneath of it, and it starts kind of playing tricks with your, like, brain. And next thing you know, it feels like a song's been on for, like, 25 minutes, and you start getting lost. And it's a legit weird feeling. And I didn't warn a friend of mine about it, and we were listening to Hell One. And Hell One is, to be honest, pretty tame compared to Hell Two and Hell Three. So I was like, because the original plan was we were going to sit here. And he was like, yo, I want to listen to the whole trilogy front to back. So I was like, all right. Like, I, I know that Doom and Sludge aren't really your thing outside of, like, I hate God and grief and stuff, but, like, all right, I'm down, you know? So I start playing it and whatnot, and we get through the A side fine, but when the B side came on, midway through, he was like, yo, dude, uh, I, I don't know if I can, if I can do this, and I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, it's like, making me feel seasick and I, I just started laughing and I was like all right dude you know next time we'll try hell too which I know is like way fucking gnarlier and it's just an amazing lesson and hell's just one of those bands that you know MSW manages to pull this stuff off live and it's absolutely heart-wrenching. I love it. When I saw him at, uh, 
Migration Fest last year. He had a broken leg, but still killed it. And ALN was on drums because Ms. Moore was doing Yod in its entirety. I can't wait for fucking the live version to get here. It's going to be sick. Recorded at Roadburn. But uh, ALM was on drums, and it was just an amazing set I'll never forget. But Hell 1 is a lot more straightforward, sludgy, doom metal. And it does have those blackened elements to it, and it's heavy as a dump truck. Dropped off the Empire State Building. But in all reality... It really is, and yeah, MSW is, in my opinion, a musical genius, and the Hell Trilogy proves that, and here's the start to that, and this is Hell 1, which is, in my opinion, absolute essential listening if you're a fan of sludgy, doomed-out tunes, especially doomy blackened stuff if you're a fan of like primitive man you're you're gonna love hell pretty much but also if you're a fan of like mismore mania there, there's tons of sick bands that have come out of like the eternal warfare scene like out of salem oregon and whatnot but like tas ALN, MSW, kill it here on Hell 1. And tomorrow we're going to do Hell 2. And the only guests on Hell 2 are TAS as ALN was on a legit soul-finding journey which ended up creating Ms. Moore and... You know, Liam slash ALN's falling out with God. Yeah. Seriously, this record right here is about what happens when God breaks your heart. And, you know, you want to try out atheism. I don't know what happened, but it was something serious enough to where when Hell 1 first was released... ALM was pissed that his name was used on a record by a band named Hell. So I think that's where the initials actually came from. He didn't want his name on Hell 1, so they just used his initials or something along those lines. Um, not 100% sure about that. But I remember reading a Ms. Moore interview, but Ms. Moore's just ALN. But I remember reading an interview about Yod and him discussing his anger with Matt MSW for, you know, using his name in a band called Hell when he was really into Christianity at the time. But something happened... In Germany, like he, ALN dropped out of life to pursue his search for inner inner peace and him finding God. And it seems like that mission failed, but at the same time, created something beautiful and terrifying yet. At the same time, important in the realms of black metal. Like, oh, it's hipster black metal. Fuck you. I hate how just miserable and, like, negative some people are on the internet. Like, who cares? Like, let the guy be. He obviously had some serious shit going on. But created a goddamn blackened doom masterpiece. Where hell is a lot more sludgy. And the whole entire trilogy, each one of the records has its own distinct sound to it. But at the end of the day, it sounds like hell. And hell is the kingdom of pain and sorrow. 
Hails to MSW. And thanks as always for watching, you fucking rule. Hails.